On September 1st last year, a team of 16 scientists made a stunning discovery that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. They published a paper detailing their findings that challenged our basic understanding of the universe. Using the powerful James Webb Space Telescope, these scientists observed distant galaxies and revealed something truly unexpected. Until this discovery, the prevailing belief in astrophysics was that the universe underwent a period of rapid expansion followed by a cooling phase. This cooling phase eventually led to the formation of the first stars and galaxies during what scientists call the Dark Ages. However, the galaxies observed by the team appear to be significantly evolved, similar to our own Milky Way, and showing a much higher degree of maturity than expected. This revelation suggested that these ancient galaxies must have existed long before ours. This discovery has profound implications for understanding cosmic history. This challenges the traditional view of the origin of the universe, especially the widely accepted notion of the Big Bang as the ultimate starting point. Before the beginning of the 20th century, the prevailing view among scientists was that the universe was static and unchanging, not expanding or contracting. This belief was refuted by the observations of the astronomer Dress Slipher. He noticed that certain nebulae are rapidly moving away from us, originally caused by the movement of our own galaxy. Additional observations, particularly from Arizona's Lick Observatory, contradicted that explanation. A key figure in unraveling this mystery was Edwin Hubble, who showed a clear connection. The further the nebula was from us, the faster it moved. This empirical evidence matched the predictions of Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which suggested that space-time could expand or contract. Tracing the expansion of the universe back in time with the equations of general relativity, scientists came up with the concept of a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature from which all matter and energy originate. This singularity is often associated with the event known as the Big Bang. However, this raises profound questions about what, if anything, existed before the Big Bang. Was there really nothing, no space, no time? Or are there aspects of cosmic history that now remain incomprehensible to us? To visualize this concept, consider the analogy of the surface of a balloon. Imagine our universe as the surface of a balloon expanding from a smaller size to its current dimensions. As the balloon expands, objects marked on its surface move further apart, illustrating the concept of cosmic expansion. In this framework, the scale factor works as a measure of the size of the universe, analogous to a ruler used to measure the size of a balloon. Our universe now has a certain scale factor, but it used to be smaller. As the universe expands, galaxies and other cosmic structures move away from each other due to the expansion of space-time itself. In the future, the scale factor of the universe will continue to increase, reflecting the continued expansion of space. This perspective provides a glimpse into the vastness and complexity of cosmic history and invites further exploration and investigation into the mysteries of the origin of the universe. As you slowly let the air out of the balloon, everything on the surface of the balloon begins to move closer together. Finally, when you completely deflate the balloon, you are left with a small flat piece of rubber. This is similar to the concept of a singularity, a moment in the history of the universe when everything was incredibly close, extremely hot, and extraordinarily dense. If we extrapolate the physical equations back in time, we arrive at a moment about 14 billion years ago, when the temperature and density of the universe became infinite. But just as we begin to wrestle with this thought, it becomes clear that the situation may not be as simple as it seems. Current evidence indicates that we should not necessarily apply Einstein's equations to the singularity. The observations point to a critical moment just before 10 to the power of negative 32 seconds after the Big Bang, during which the universe underwent a rapid expansion known as cosmic inflation. This period of inflation provides important insights into the large-scale expansion of the universe explaining why the universe appears so uniform and shedding light on the formation of galaxies. However, the singular is a complicated concept, even with the concept of inflation. Its extreme density and temperature bring quantum forces into play that complicate our understanding. 
Scientifically, we are still investigating the idea of whether there really was a beginning of space and time. Sir Roger Penrose proposed a new framework that suggests that events crucial to the formation of the universe, including the creation of galaxies and stars, may have occurred before the Big Bang. This challenges our traditional understanding and opens up new avenues for research. In this larger context, the ultimate fate of the universe is still a matter of speculation. If we travel forward in time to infinity and imagine a photon-dominated universe with black holes evaporating, we encounter the timeless nature of these particles. After non-geodesis, photons travel along paths where time and space essentially cease to exist for them. They are momentary in a sense, passing through the fabric of space-time without experiencing the passage of time. Imagine turning on a flashlight for a moment and then turning it off. The moment when the light is released from the flashlight represents event A, while the moment when it reaches a certain point away from the flashlight represents event B. The space-time difference between these two events is calculated by the equation ds2 equals zero. This means that the photon emitted by the flashlight travels from event A to event B at the same time, traveling through both time and space in a way that cancels the network. Change in time-space interval. This unique behavior of photons, without a rest frame and without a personal clock, is consistent with a fundamental principle of physics. The speed of light is constant. No matter where you are or how you move, light always travels at a constant speed. If photons had a fixed reference point, light would appear not to move from its point of view. This fact challenges our understanding of the speed of light and highlights the special nature of photons. The equations governing light known as Maxwell's equations, have an interesting property. They are correspondingly invariant. This means that the equations remain the same whether you scale the system up or down. Basically, the expanses of the universe, or the tiny scale of quantum particles, look the same when described by these equations. Applying this conformist picture to the Big Bang concept, we can imagine a scenario where the initial state of the universe extends beyond the traditional concept of the Big Bang singularity. This mathematical approach allows us to characterize the beginning of the universe in a way that extends to infinity. Einstein's theory of relativity offers important insights to understand the early universe. According to Einstein, energy and mass are related, and this relationship is further explained by Max Planck's equation, which relates energy and frequency. This relationship between mass and frequency emphasizes the role of mass in defining the passage of time. When thinking about the distant future of the universe, we imagine a scenario where the universe becomes essentially empty and populated only by photons. In this distant future, the state of the universe may resemble a new phase of the Big Bang, suggesting the cyclical nature of cosmic evolution. This concept, known as conformal cyclic cosmology, challenges conventional understandings of the beginning and end of the universe. It refers to a continuous cycle of expansion and contraction, each cycle mirroring the previous one. This cyclic model emphasizes the importance of the Hubble parameter, which measures the expansion rate of the universe. As the universe expands and contracts in a continuous cycle driven by the interplay of dark energy, it embodies a timeless and interconnected reality where the past, present, and future are intertwined. In our daily lives, time is constantly flowing, shaping our experiences as a series of moments or snapshots. Each moment unfolds and leads to the next in an endless chain of events. If we imagine all these moments, every earthly event and every event in the vast space of the universe, it recorded the entire cosmic history. From the explosive birth of the Big Bang to the formation of stars in the Milky Way, the birth of life on Earth billions of years ago, to major events when we talk about them, they all blend into the present. But Einstein's theories of relativity bring an interesting twist to this apparently simple modern concept. According to special relativity, a unit's perception of time can vary depending on its motion. This means that moving individuals experience time differently and can slice space-time from different angles, forming unique current slices. To illustrate this, imagine an entity in a distant galaxy billions of light years away from Earth. As that unit moves away from Earth, its current slice of space-time intersects differently, causing it to jump moment by moment back into Earth's history. Conversely, as a creature moves toward Earth, its present part leans toward Earth's future, 
offering glimpses of events not yet locked away. This concept becomes even more exciting when applied to photons or particles of light. Photons have no clear past, present, or future. Their gift lasts all the time at the same time. Just as we perceive the entire space of existence, all time also includes all the events that have happened or will happen. This idea echoes Einstein's famous remark that the distinction between past, present, and future is only an illusion, even though it may seem continuous. But is there a universal measure of time? A master clock ticking across the galaxy? The answer seems to be no. Time is not absolute. It is relational, formed by movement and perception. So where does this leave us in our quest to understand the origin and evolution of the universe? Sir Roger Penrose's cycle model suggests an endless cycle of restarting the universe, complicating our efforts to determine the beginning or end of the Big Bang. 